Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are going to take you on a tour of this incredible modern house in Bloomington on Bloomington Hills Drive right here in St. George on Bloomington Golf Course. First of all, I'd like to thank the listing agents, Sue Gatchel and Rad Rock Real Estate for giving us an opportunity to tour this beautiful home. And uh, we'll, we'll just, just dive right into it. So this video is being shot for one of our clients. And if you yourself are considering moving to Southern Utah, this is something that uh, we're happy to offer in order for us to be your eyes and ears. So we'll, we'll jump into some of the specifics. As you approach this home, it sits in a cul-de-sac, which is shared with two other properties. And the driveway is pretty nice and level. Uh, there's access to the RV garage and the two-car garage. There's not really any side parking. In fact, we, we just have to park over here. I think that's kind of where some of your visitor parking may be, but there's plenty of parking on site. This property is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home that sits on 3,292 square feet. And this cul-de-sac backs up to the Bloomington Golf Course. The RV garage is 46 feet deep and it's ultra modern. We absolutely love all the finishes that we have seen inside. But let's talk a little bit about the exterior. The home is set back and above the street, which gives you a little bit more privacy. And the landscaping is retained with these really cool, modern, welded landscaping planners that this one actually acts as a part retaining wall to retain some of that lot. And this one does as well. So it's a really cool design touch. I really like all the concrete and all the perfectly geometrical forms. All the concrete looks like it was done really well. Michonne has a good eye for things that are not perfect, but <laughs> I haven't found any yet. The staircase takes you out to the front door and there's a really cool design element slash functionality touch. I really like these rain chains. There is a downspout that comes out from the upper flat roof and that water gets brought down by that chain into this planter. And I believe there may be a drain that takes it off the concrete. You enter this property through this beautiful French door with frosted glass. I'm actually a huge fan of frosted glass. But I'll let Michonne take it from here and take you guys through the interior space of this home. So come on in. So this is the front living room space kitchen. It's a nice open floor plan, very modern. Um, I really like the beams that they have in here. And those are just metal beams. They look, they look steel. Yeah. They yeah, steel beams. beams. They almost look like railroad ties. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shut this behind you. Gives it a little bit of an industrial feel, but I think it fits in really nicely with the rest of the design of this home. There's this super modern fireplace. It's electric. And I like this built-in that they put in. And there's a couple sconce lights. There's three of them. So that's kind of nice that you can have that at night when you're watching a movie. There's some built-in speakers underneath and throughout. I think it's throughout the home. Yeah, it has um, a surround sound system through the entire property, but there's also um, in-wall speakers on both sides. as well as... And I'm just gonna point out if I see anything cosmetic as we're going through, I'll point it out like... And those um, are the rear and ceiling. So far I'm just seeing like caulking on the baseboards and little paint touch-ups, but um, let's go ahead and walk into the kitchen. The center island is massive and I like that they did... So there's granite and they did the, the thick edge for the mitered edge. Yeah, all around, like the center island and the back counters. Really modern drawers with a soft close. Soft close. Which is nice. We've got the Z-Line appliances, well, for the, for the range. You've got a six burner range. And another really cool touch uh, that I thought Michonne was gonna get more excited than I am about is that it has a water tap right above the stove. Um, oh, here comes the measurement test. So I'm six foot two and one of the concerns was the range hood 
So I think it's kind of right in line with my head, but if you're like cooking, it's far enough back. Like if you were cooking and leaning over, would you hit it? No, I'd have to lean over like all the way over the yeah. rear burner. Yeah, it sits back pretty nicely. So I was only in it for the sake of measuring. I'll let you take it back over. Look at all of the countertop space in this kitchen. It actually spans all the way back here and it turns into this little built-in that could be used as additional prep area if necessary or maybe a little workstation. And there's a little outlet right here. Um, so you put another little... Or yeah, you could put a beverage uh, refrigerator in there. But the double trash can right next to the sink, which is nice. Got a stainless steel sink. Disposal. Reverse osmosis. The reverse osmosis. Oh, that's awesome. Looks like it's just a four stage system. Okay. Got some floating shelves. And this is the back half of this little. So this would be the pantry area. We've got more cupboards, drawers. Got a second wall oven with your Is that microwave. oven electric? Yes, looks so like it. This oven. Is it? No, it's it's got. Um, yes, I think it's electric. And then sometimes look. gas ovens have the broiler at the top. So these are both Samsung. And then this would be where all your food would. So that's essentially your pantry. Yeah. Your your pantry is instead of just having shelving. But you know what? It it's has not very deep. Upper and lower cabinets. So just so you Let know. Let's see that one. Like, so we're not too so deep. Like about, a foot. about a foot of depth. Yeah. And then you also have this cabinet space. But these look like they might be pretty deep. So yeah, that if you need a. Looks like it's pretty good size. And there's a lot of cabinets. Like, look at all this. So you've got plenty of cabinet space to source. So this is all covered. Um, Samsung refrigerator and freezer. I love these double door or quad door. So mm -hmm. the freezer opens on either side as well. And look how cool these lights are up here. I really like these. Those I awesome. really love all the design touches of this home. And then we've got our dining area over here. It's very large. And I really like all the natural lighting coming into this home. There's windows everywhere. So you're right on the golf course and it has been incredibly cold in St. George. So this grass doesn't look amazing right now. Incredibly cold. <laughs> it's been way colder than I could handle. Uh, but like hopefully spring is a week away. So that is the view from the living room. Yeah, we'll go and we'll go check out the backyard too. Let's go okay. see the rest of. So Earth. this is the guest wing of the house. And it's important to note too that when you look at the front of the property, between the door and these massive windows that kind of open into a courtyard uh, front door area, there's just so much natural light in this home that it feels nice and bright in here. So, and then we'll show you how you're, you guys wanted to see the garage entrance, how you get into the home. So we'll go through that. But So tell us what are we looking at? This is a bedroom. So, no, this is the bathroom. So this is kind of your mud area. Take your shoes off when you come in through the garage. Most people come in through so the garage. So that's the garage door. Yep. And this is a bathroom. Yep. We'll it's start with a, this bathroom. Got a powder bath in here. Window. A really cool looking um, vanity with like some lower towel storage space. The towel rack is pretty cool. And I like the little subway tile backsplash that did right there. That's a nice touch. Cute modern mirror. Okay. And then we'll go, we'll go this way first and we'll swing back through to the garage. So the most exciting part. Over here we've got two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill bathroom in the middle and then your laundry room. So, so we're effectively in the guest suite portion of this home. Carpet is nice. Like, I love the carpet color, the design, and then the padding underneath is super squishy. So it's good quality. 
and you've got access to go to the backyard right here and we've got those those built-in blinds yeah, those built-in shutters are cool it's a good size bedroom and then we have and then there's just a good size walk-in closet all the closets have stuff in it so it's hard to it's hard to tell but pretty good size yeah and you also have views of the golf course from here. The elevation of this room is a little below the golf course, so you get a little bit of privacy from that retention, but it, uh, it's a pretty view. Okay. And it's connected to uh, Jack and Jill, right? Yes. So, yeah. Here's the bathroom, vanity. Look at, check out these sinks. I think these are the sinks that are in all the bathrooms. Super cool, like, just the nice recessed on. sinks. Are you talking about the tap? The tap, yeah. Well, all of it, but yeah, the the tap is awesome. That's yeah, kind of unique. Okay. And then we have um, just an insert bath and a toilet in this portion. So it's convenient if this a... if this bathroom is shared between the two bedrooms. You could lock that section of the way and somebody could still come in and brush their teeth or wash their hands. And then here's the other bedroom, similar, similar in size. This one actually might be just a little bit smaller. But it fits a king. But you got views from here too of the golf course. Yeah, and this, this king seems extra big with this. How is furniture. the closet? Closet is actually bigger in here. Another thing to note too, what I really like about this build in particular, something I always look for is uh, 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors. Some builders will put eight or uh, seven foot doors on the closets, but then use the eight foot doors and everything else. And I'm so glad that in this home, you have consistent doors throughout and they look really nice. We've got your central back. So it's plumbed for a central vacuum. So you'll have to figure out. So we've got a thermostat here. That must control this side of the house. Okay. So these are, and then there's a thermostat right by the kitchen. There's so. a five ton unit that probably has two thermostats that controls the living room as well as these, these bedrooms that are on this level. So then the mini splits must be just upstairs. Okay, oh, I love how, look how tall these are. This is awesome. So much storage in this house. So laundry room, lots of storage. Got all lots of upper cabinets. Now, uh, what are the hookups? So for the dryer, you could either have gas or electric, and you do have um, natural gas here as well as Dixie Power for your utilities. Look at the cutest little sink I've ever seen. That's a cute little sink. It's like a bar sink. And then we've got our clothes rack right here, towel rack, which is awesome. And then we'll go ahead and make our way to the garage. So these are so big. Lay out of those panels, and it looks like the wall, uh, the doors are painted in a dark gray. Okay. So this is the access from the garage. You have your electrical panel right here, which is convenient to have inside. And then you have a few steps, and those are sealed concrete steps that take you down. The railing's awesome. It's this nice metal. Yeah, it's a metal welded railing. The stairs are kind of like hollow, huh? Yeah, the stairs are not concrete. They're definitely uh, yeah. just MDF. Yeah. I the the coating kind of uh, confused me a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this garage. So we've got our two car right here. And it's extra wide, extra deep because it fits this Well, it's ram. nice that this truck's in here. It gives you a good perspective. Yeah, this Ram 1500 but it doesn't is have like... a hitch. I mean, the the rear of the truck is up against. Yeah, you got about a foot. You got about a foot behind it. Oh, mm -hmm. that's the, the HVAC back. system, the central VAC system that we're talking about inside. It's got about a foot behind the truck and you still have plenty of space in front of it. And that's the two car portion of this garage. Okay. Now I'm going to back myself into this RV garage 
to give you guys a better feel. So I believe the RV garage door is 12 by 14. And this section is 46 feet deep. So you definitely have plenty of room for variety of toys. And when we looked at the front, it's what I, what I really like about the RV garage is, is when you have a decent amount of access from the front. So with this property being a cul-de-sac, you're say you're backing in a big trailer in here or trying to maneuver an RV, you will have plenty of space on the front of your vehicle where you don't have to worry about hitting things. Or if you're maneuvering a trailer with a truck, you'll definitely have plenty of room. Good, we have- Good amount of outlets, got a 220. So got, got a 50 amp 220. Side access. Trash cans are right here, but sidewalk ends right here and then it's gravel. So that man door takes you out to the side of the property. And there's your five ton AC unit on that side of the home. And then that's the front. Okay, let's go explore the rest of the house. Absolutely love how open this floor plan is. And all of the colors of all the finishes play really well together. So to the right of the front door, we have a study office. Okay, we'll go, we'll go this room. What do you want to call this area? This is where the previous owners had their office, which makes for, I think it's a perfect piano way. piano in here as well? Yeah, you can put your piano, you can have just a... Well, Absolutely your here. love so how here. good the staircase with this accent wall has kind of a modern industrial style. We've got two different colors. So we've got that stone and then we've got this brick right here. So that's just the brick from the retention from the front. That oh, yeah, it's the same. Kind of plays with the rest of this decorative brick. This part of the home is one of my favorites. They did a really good job. And there's also <clears throat> views from this part of the property. And you have taller ceilings here, I think about maybe 13 feet or so. And this area, I don't know, what would you do with the space? I think it's pretty good for an office. Yeah. There's plenty of room to put a desk, maybe a couch. Maybe a piano. Maybe a piano, it could be a piano room. And then, is that a closet? Oh yeah. I know this one's kind of kind of full, so it's kind of hard to, to see, but it's a good size closet. I'm five five. Two, nice little storage three. area. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and go down this hall. So there's um there is a Mitsubishi mini split in this area. So you have that's your one climate zone for here. So the, the rest of the house yeah. runs off of the big five ton unit and um, a furnace. And these mini splits they provide heating and cooling. How would you say, does it feel comfortable right now? I feel like the temperature is pretty consistent throughout this entire home right now. It feels good. We've got kind of a, we've got two little linen, like clean Linen, closet. cleaning, storage closet, two of them back to back. Yeah, this looks like it holds all the electrical and it's all wired for. So you've got your IT closet. And there's two like primary bedrooms basically. So you've got, this one and one directly above this one, so. Would you say they're about the same size? Um, no, the, the upstairs one's bigger. That certainly gives you an option to have a, a downstairs uh, primary bed if you needed to or if you chose to. So you have an option to go either way and you still have a view from here and the hot tub is directly outside and you've got access to go outside from both, so you can- you have a nice sliding door here, but upstairs you'll have a balcony. And then you've got another- um, Another enclosure. Mitsubishi mini split for this room. Yep. That's a really good size room. I would say you could fit a king size, king size bed in here comfortably. Okay, a bathroom, just a single vanity, got that same cool faucet. Nice large like, mirror. Look at all the windows. Like I'm, I'm a huge fan of natural light. So 
see tons of natural. You can light. always cover it up with blinds if you don't, but I, I love the, the options there. And a nice floating vanity. <laughs> the shower and that's you could put a little curtain here if you wanted or you could install a little glass door to enclose it but good size good size shower it's the single shower head mm -hmm. and then this door actually takes you all the way back into the office which for me personally between working and sleeping <laughs> that would be perfect you could work late walk through here go straight to bed oh sad <laughs> that's sad <laughs> Okay. I yeah. call it functional. You just work yourself to death. No big deal. Um, nice lighting in here. Okay. Really good size closet too. Here. And a water closet. Okay. Spacious. Got a kind of a rough transition right here, so that might need a little. Might need a little transitional piece there. Yeah, yeah it's got a little a bit of a lip on it, so. We'll go upstairs. I really like that they put this carpet right here. That There's carpet on the landing. Check out these views. More Those views. are the views from the front of the property. Another thing that's really cool, and it messes with your eyes a little bit, but if you look at this angle, the front section of the home actually V's out towards the top. So there's some really cool lines that play with your eyes as you go up these stairs. More of that uh, exterior brick accent on that wall. Two beautiful pendant light fixtures. Sorry, I have really bad OCD. And I was like, oh, there's screw holes, but it's not actually screwed to it. And I'm like, does it move? And it does just a little bit. So I'm like, did it glue? But I yes. think they just didn't want to put screws through those beautiful steps. Yeah, I mean, it's it's super sturdy, but I was just... This railing feels super well secured to the stud in the wall. So I think they just opted out of putting extra screws in that beautiful wood. Check out these views. I'm just tall enough with these heels to see. Oh, let's see if he gets a hole in one. <laughs> just kidding. Cool though. Yeah, somebody golfing right yes. there. And we still got some of the white cap on the mountains. So this is the upstairs master. You say it's larger than yeah. the downstairs oh, yeah. one? For sure. Yeah. yeah, quite a bit. And you've got another mini split right above you, the Mitsubishi. Yep, so all the mini splits are Mitsubishi and they have these remotes on the wall. Here you have your light switch as well as the control for the mini split and your fan controls. Look at the ceiling in here. It's like pitched up. It's, I love it. Super cool. And you've got views all over out here. And I have to say they did a great job of putting the mini splits right in the ceiling. So you don't have this ugly unit just hanging off the wall somewhere. You really don't notice them. It's always like the ceiling's again. white and the unit's white. So it kind of- It kind of blends, huh? is just right up above this doorway. And I would imagine that it distributes the airflow pretty evenly. And that's the sweetest part about this, this suite. So you've got some nice tile, the same, um, I think it's called hammered steel finish um, on that railing. I like it a lot. So this home is custom built. So there's a lot of touches that were specifically made for this home. What do you think about the view? It's so beautiful. Super peaceful. And spring, summer, fall, the grass is usually really, really green, but Winter. Yeah, it could use. Uh, it's winter. <laughs> could use some sun. A decent sized backyard, and the <clears throat> backyard is actually recessed a little bit below the golf course, so you get a little more privacy that way without having to stare at the wall because that's ultimately your view. 
It's truly panoramic. You better get about 180 degrees. The location of this property is perfect as well. So that over there on the horizon is often referred to by the locals as the satellite hill. And that's roughly the mark of like Bloomington Hills, I-15. So you're really, really close to I-15. Walmart is just in that direction. You're really no more than five to 10 minutes away from all that St. George has to offer. Let's take a look at that uh, master bath. Got a barn door, sliding door to go in. That, that is kind of a nice touch because if you put a massive bed right here, it's nice to not have a door swing. I like this, there's tile everywhere. It's awesome. Got the shiny tile floor, but those, that same vanity that's downstairs. Floating right vanity with a massive towel rack. Mm hmm And check out these sinks. I love, these are awesome. Super cool. Got a TV behind you, so we've got another split. So four total. I think there's a total of four mini splits, and we'll look at the outdoor units once we go outside. Got some towel racks right here. Got a little bit of a step up to get in here, but kind of a wet room. Got a soaking tub. A huge fan of the wet room design. So there's a glass without a door, though. Mm -mm. So I, you could put, but maybe they come a little curtain. Or... I think you could definitely mount a glass door here for this space to be complete. Just but... mount it on the side and then it would meet with this, yeah. And you've got body jets on the wall, plus some shampoo niches. And take a look at the skylight with the rainfall shower as the coolest. Really good sized bathtub as well. Yeah. And that window, if you wanted to watch people golf as you bathe, <laughs> you could totally do that as well. Here, while you're in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and test this out, the shower. <laughs> Please do not test the shower. Got a water closet right over here. Good size. Look how tall the ceilings are in here. Wow. They're super tall. And then you've got a stackable washer and dryer in here. Looks like so, it could go like another foot back. So if you did not want to carry your laundry all the way downstairs, just have a stackable right in your closet. Good sign. And a little windows up above for lots of natural light. The only place that we haven't seen yet is the backyard. So there's a massive slider right outside of the dining room that takes us out back. It's been a little bit windy in the area the last few days. We have a built-in fireplace directly outside this door. Hey, turn it on. There is a guest valve on the side and there's an igniter probably someplace close by. And just to give you guys an idea of what we're looking back in the backyard, We've got those guest bedrooms, one over there. We've got one bedroom right here. And this is that entrance to go into that guest bedroom. Kitchen window into the kitchen. We've got pull down shades all along the back of this back here. Little patio set, hot tub. We've got another one of these, what is it, the rainfall? It's the rain chain. See the upper flat roof drains into that downspout. 
And then it brings the water into this really cool planter full of rocks. And I noticed on that side of the home in here, there's also additional drains. So they're just the fringe drains <clears throat> that take the water to the front of the property. And then we'll go over hot here. Tub. To, yeah, hot tub of the golf course views. They got some raised garden planters over here. That's kind of cool. This side yard is actually quite large. And then here's where all the, the mini splits are. So there's a total of four of them. And yeah, they're just the Mitsubishi Electric. Um, let's see. What year are they? It can't be much older than 21. I think this home was just built. I don't know if they stay in here. Hmm. But zoom in on, yeah, did you zoom in on them? Yep. Okay. So there's a larger and a smaller unit. The smaller units must be in the bathrooms and the larger units are in the bedrooms. I believe there's more mini splits on the other side. So I've got two water heaters in here, two water heaters. The date is 2021 and then a water softener. With the external resin tank and a little bit more room for storage of sorts. And then we'll walk away all the way to the front of this property. Should we go look at the other AC unit real quick? Yeah, let's go check it out. So this is another angle to give you guys an idea of what the front yard looks like. And this is that staircase. As you go up, you have these beautiful windows and then the building kind of slants forward a little bit, which I think is super cool. Nice, massive entry. Got under eave lighting under here too, which is nice. So now we are on the RV side of the exterior of this home. You have your utility panels here, so your water um, timer, this little corner light. Remember they wanted to know about barking dogs? It is a train unit. And we just set off, just set off the neighborhood police. I know that one of your questions was about neighbor's dogs. We did step into their territory. They were just doing their job. Neighbor does have three dogs. Looks like they have a little uh, dog run on the side, but to be completely fair, the dogs are super well behaved. The entire time we were here, we didn't hear a single bark, but the second we stepped into their territory, we heard it. Folks, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you'd like for us to set up a search for you or send you any uh, any videos similar to this one based on the listings that you see on the market reach out to us our contact information is in the description below this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one